Sunday episode of the Vanilla Theater. I'm here with Ken Ludwig, the author of Lend Me a Soprano. So this play, which, you know, I fell in love with Lend Me a Tenor all these years ago, and um, and, and, and this play I, I like even better. Okay. Uh, t t tell us what was the, what was the spark for um, kind of going back into it and, and, and looking at it with women in the main roles? Well, I have spent uh, the past 10 years in particular, for some reason it struck me, I, I write about comedy and, I, and classical comedy and, and the history of comedy, and it, and it struck me again and again that there's not enough roles for women in terms of the sheer numbers. Yes, there's sparkling women heroines, and it'll be one in her and her best girlfriend, you know, in, in She's Stoops to Conquer and in The Rivals and in that, but that's it. Uh, and I thought, wouldn't it be fun to take the three main leads of Lend Me a Tenor, my first, my first big comedy, and, uh, uh, and turn them around? It was as someone who just heard it for the first time out loud, I was amazed. You know, I loved, I, I thought Lend Me a Tenor was funny and, 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 and lovely and, and you know, it, 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 ebullient. Um, whereas this, at the end, I was just really, I, 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 it was funny and I was moved. And you know, you're exactly right. And it's simply by making those parts women, you know, it, it, it does get warmer. And yes. It's, and it's more heartfelt. And, and Very true. Yeah, it was interesting. I, I was surprised by that. For whatever crazy reason, not only did I fall in love with theater when I was a youngster, but I started really because I have, I think comedy really is a question of optimism. It's kind of who you are. It's an optimism. You've got to fight for your happiness. You've got to, you've got to stay true to what you believe in, often against the brickbats of people who are all telling you that the world's terrible and, and, uh, and are cynical. And in our current modern world, there is, there, there is so much of the other energy going on, right yeah. now especially, yes. that I feel it's really important to remind people that, that, that there's a comic spirit that is a, a, alive and well. You know, it's an outpouring of these marvelous comedies that move us and teach us and are romantic and are funny, and, and that's the great tradition that I just love so much. You've written a lot of plays that you've done at the Alley. You've got a long history with the Alley. You do. So t tell us some highlights, some that, of, of plays you've done at the Alley. Well, highlights, I think, uh, one was uh, I wrote a play uh, 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 for just four people and had two main parts. Uh, it's called Be My Baby. And uh, lucky me, and Hal Holbrook and uh, Dixie oh, Carter, right. his wife. Another one when, was when I had done, I think, already two shows at the alley, maybe three. And um, someone turned to me and said, you know, we, we need more shows for families. What about, would you do an adaptation of a classic for families? And I wrote Treasure Island. Oh, okay. And we did the world premiere of that at the alley as well. And that was a great, great moment. Fabulous. And in, in my short time at the alley, we've already done The Three Musketeers and Murder on the Orient, Orient Express. Oh, so, great. so oh, yeah. Great. Fabulous. Well, this has been great. There'll be lots more conversations to come. And Ken, thanks so much for spending a little time with thank us. Thank you. Thank the alley. Hey, what's We're going to have such a great time. Fabulous. Thanks.